Hello children, I am Miss Dorothy. Children, you will be watching the video clipping of this lesson, Motions of the Earth. Here we are going to study the types of movements of the Earth and their effects. Rotation of the Earth Rotation of the Earth All spinning objects have an imaginary All line called an axis an on which they spin. Look at this top. It seems as though there is a line running through the center of the top. However, when the top stops spinning, the line seems to vanish. The line seems to vanish. The Earth too has an axis which passes through the north and south poles. The Earth also spins around its axis. Can you spot the difference between the Earth's axis and the axis of the top? The axis of the top is vertical, but the axis of the Earth is slightly tilted. It is at an angle of 23.5 degrees. The spinning of the Earth around its axis is called rotation. The rotation of the Earth always takes place in the same direction, from west to east. Do you know how much time the Earth takes to rotate on its axis once? The Earth takes 24 hours to spin around its axis once. Look at this ball. The side of the ball facing the torch receives light, while the opposite side remains dark. While the Earth rotates around its axis, only half of its surface faces the sun. The portion that faces the sun receives light and experiences day, and the portion in darkness experiences night. If the Earth did not rotate, the areas experiencing day and night would be permanently fixed. Do you know what the circle that divides the day from night on the globe is called? It is called the circle of illumination. When the sun is overhead at any point on the earth's surface, the time at that place is 12 noon. As the earth moves from the west to east, the dark half gradually faces the sun. This movement produces dawn and dusk, the periods of diffused light between day and night. The part of the day just before the sun rises in the east is called dawn. The part of the day when the sun sets in the west and there is still some light is called dusk. Can you give another word for dusk? Can you give another word? For another dusk? word for dusk is twilight. Another word for dusk is twilight. When we are in a moving train, when the objects outside, train, such as the, the trees and outside, buildings, seem to be the moving in the opposite direction. In However, the in reality, direction. they are still However, while reality, the train moves. While the train moves. Similarly, the sun's position is fixed. It is the earth that rotates from west to east. But to us, the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. The countries in the eastern part of the globe experience sunrise earlier than the countries in the west. Can you name the country known as the land of the rising sun? The land of the rising sun is Japan. Revolution of the Earth In this module, you will learn about the revolution of the Earth and understand the occurrence of different seasons in a year. Sid's friend Sophie has gone on a supper vacation to Chile in South America. One day Sid decided to call her. Hi Alicia, how are you doing? I hope you are having fun on your holiday. 
I hope you are having fun on Hello, your Sid. holiday. Hello, Sid. I'm fine. I'm having a lot of Hello, fun. Sid. But it's I'm really fine. cold here. I'm having a lot of fun. Cold? Really cold How's here. that possible? It's so hot cold? here in India. How's that possible? It's so hot here in India. Do you India. know why it is hot in India and cold in Chile you know, at the same why time? It is hot in India and cold in Chile at the it same time. It is because time? India lies in the northern it hemisphere and Chile in the, in the southern northern. hemisphere. And Chile in the southern. We hemisphere. already know that the Earth spins on its axis. This is known as rotation of the Earth. It takes this about 24 hours to complete one rotation of the Earth. The Earth moves in two ways. It also revolves around the Sun. Let's see what is meant by revolution. When a planet or a moon revolves around an object, it is called revolution. The imaginary path around which an object moves is called its orbit. This means that the Earth revolves around the Sun in its orbit. Do you know that the shape of the Earth's orbit is not circular but elliptical or oval in shape? The Earth takes about 365 and one fourth days to complete one revolution. However, there are 365 days in a year and one fourth day is equal to six hours. This balance of six hours is added up together for four years, which results in an additional day. As a result, there are 29 days in the month of February. In that year, there are 366 days instead of 365 days. It is known as a leap year. A leap year comes once in every four years. A year which is evenly divisible by four is a leap year. Find out from your teacher about the next leap year. How can you identify whether a year is a leap year or not? Let's see some examples. The year 1999. Do you think it was a leap year? If we divide 1999 by 4, the result is 499.75. Oh, it is not completely divisible by 4. Therefore, it is not a leap year. The year 1984, if we divide 1984 by 4, the result is 496. Yes, it is completely divisible by 4, which means that 1984 was a leap year. That 1984 was a leap year. The revolution of the earth and the tilted axis the of the earth, of the earth are two main factors that cause the occurrence of different seasons. That cause the occurrence of different seasons. As the tilted earth moves around the sun, As a part of the earth is closer to the sun, which means that the other part is away from the sun. When the North Pole is tilted towards the Sun, the Northern Hemisphere experiences summer, such as in the month of June. When the North Pole is away from the Sun, the Northern Hemisphere experiences winter, such as in the month of December. In the month of December. On the other hand, there is winter in the southern the hemisphere hand, in the month of June and there is summer such as in the month of December. When the two poles are at an equal when distance the away from the sun, there are spring and autumn seasons. During these seasons, it is neither hot nor cold. It is neither hot India cold. lies in the northern hemisphere. There is India summer season in India in the months of March to May in and India winter in the, in the months of, of December to, to February. And winter in the months of December to February. Have you observed that the days are longer and Have nights are shorter in summer? It gets dark late in the evening. On the contrary, the days are shorter and nights are longer in winter. It gets dark earlier in the evening. It gets dark earlier in, the in summer, the days continue to extend until 21st June in the Northern Hemisphere. 21st June is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. It is known as the summer solstice. 
The term solstice means when the sun stands still. The length of the day slowly starts to decrease after the summer solstice. The length of the day starts decreasing thereafter. Days in winter continue to shrink until 22nd December in the Northern Hemisphere. This is the shortest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. It is known as the winter solstice. The length of the day begins to slowly increase after the winter solstice. There are two days in a year when the days and nights are equal. The sun shines directly on the equator on these two days. These are called equinoxes. Equinox literally means equal night. In the Northern Hemisphere, 21st March and 23rd September are known as spring or vernal equinox and autumnal equinox respectively. Now I understand the Northern and Southern Hemispheres experience different seasons at the same time of the year. This change in seasons is caused by the tilting of the Earth on its axis and the revolution of the Earth around the Sun. When the Northern Hemisphere experiences summer, the Southern Hemisphere experiences winter and vice versa. Similarly, when the Northern Hemisphere experiences autumn, the Southern Hemisphere experiences spring and vice versa. Let's recap. The Earth moves in two ways, rotation on its axis and revolution around the Sun. The Earth revolves around the Sun in its own orbit. The Earth takes about 365 and one-fourth days to complete one revolution. A leap year has 366 days, which comes after every four years. The change of seasons is caused by the axial tilt of the Earth and the Earth's revolution around the Sun. When the Northern Hemisphere is close to the Sun, it experiences summer. At the same time, the Southern Hemisphere experiences winter. When the Northern Hemisphere is away from the Sun, it experiences winter. When the two poles are at an equal distance away from the Sun, there are spring and autumn seasons. During these seasons, it is neither hot nor cold. 21st June is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. It is known as the summer solstice. 22nd December is the shortest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. It is known as the winter solstice. This is the opposite for the Southern Hemisphere. There are two days in a year when the sun shines directly over the equator. These are called equinoxes. These are called equinoxes.